Hi Aries, welcome to your May bonus reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. Aries, these bonuses are intended to maybe give you some messages. If your monthlies didn't resonate for you, my intention is maybe something here will for this bonus reading. So please only take the messages you feel uh, resonate for you. Leave the rest. Don't try to make it fit. If it's not making sense, then it's not your message. We'll be looking into love, a little bit of life, advice, guidance for you um, from the Guardian Angel Oracle here. And then we'll get into the tarot and we'll um, clarify all your energy. So this is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. We could possibly pick up on past, present, or future energy, so please keep that in mind also. This is a general collective reading, not a private reading, but if you would like a private reading, all my information is below. Um, lot of, lots of information down there, so please do go check that out. be greatly appreciated. And if you're new, uh, check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to subscribe. Like, share, comment, all that great stuff. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about four or five readings a month. And I do all kind of readings, so there's something for everyone. And if you do, uh, thank you and welcome to the family. So, Aries, hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So, let's see what we have for Aries for this bonus reading. Love, life, and advice for you for the month for Aries. General Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. I'll be pulling the oracles first, and then we'll get to the tarot. So what do we need to know about life, uh, love for Aries? Love for Aries, spirit, please. Thank you so much. Oh, there we go. And I always take from the bottom of the deck. Always important messages. This is a new deck for me. This is The Power of Love by James Van Prague. Info below um, with that as well as the other decks I'm using. All right, so let's get into the life portion for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective for Aries for this bonus reading. Spirit, please, thank you so much. What do we need to know about the life of Aries at this time? Spirit, please, thank you, thank you. For the life of Aries, what do they need to know? Okay, oh. Well, okay, I guess I'll take those two. Usually I take from the bottom, but those two I guess were meant to be. So let's see what your advice guidance is from the Guardian Angels at this time for Aries. What do they need to know? What is the advice guidance for Aries at this time? Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Advice guidance for Aries. Aries. Okay, well, I guess I'm not taking from the bottom of the deck. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have for love. Let's see what we have. We have unity. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. So maybe coming into unity with somebody here. It could be someone from the past. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. So this could be releasing the past, or this could be somebody from the past returning. You could be releasing the past for new love, or someone from the past could be returning. So we get into the tarot. We'll see about that. So let's see what life has to say. Prince of Summer, romantic, captivating, dramatic, flirtatious. Falling in love suddenly, being swept off your feet, the need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. So this is the Knight of Summer, I believe. Knight of Cups energy. So let's see. Let's see what we have here. So we have the world. A brilliant success. The freedom to go in any direction. A journey that is now complete. So the world is about closing cycles, completions, but starting uh, new cycles, going on a new journey. And you see this Knight of Cups is sort of going on a new journey. You may be going on a dramatic new journey or a new emotional experience. Or you could have gone through a very emotional time and now you're going through a new cycle in life in some way, shape, or form. All right, so let's see what your advice is. So we have Archangel Uriel coming out here and Wisdom. So these have been coming out a lot. So 
Archangel Uriel. So if you've ever wanted to work with the Archangels, you weren't quite sure who you should work with. Um, you may want to do some research on Uriel here. And he is about beauty and enlightenment. And the white there, I believe, is, let's see, Archangel Gabriel, which is about clarity, insight, creativity, and wisdom. So those are the two angels that I see. And you could be, you know, becoming spiritually enlightened, you know, gaining spiritual wisdom, um, reaching out for, you know, wisdom, you know, advice kind of energy also. All right, so let's see. I feel like, you know, reaching out to somebody who's very peaceful, harmonious, um, has great wisdom, I think will help you also. Especially if you're going through an emotional time right now or a big change. All right, so let's see what unity and the past is about. I won't be going over any signs um, in this reading. It's sort of a short, quick, direct to the point. So either you resonate or you don't. So let's see here. So we have the Six of Wands and we have the Three of Swords. So, and I felt that somebody who broke your heart in the past could be returning with a, a solid offer. That's kind of what I see here. Because we do have the Six of Wands with the offer there, but we do have a broken heart here. So, somebody who broke your heart in the past could be returning with an offer now. All right, so what else do we have? What else do we have for Aries? What else do we have for Aries? Eight of Cups, but you, I think, may reject that offer and say, no, thank you, you broke my heart. I'm not getting my heart broken again. They may be somebody who, you know, got a lot of tension in the past. Maybe they weren't faithful. Um, you know, maybe they had a lot of people that liked them, adored them. Um, or they could be someone who likes a lot of attention, seeks attention. And they may be coming back, though. <laughs> but they may have walked away from you before or you walked away from them. But, uh, and again, this could be, the Eight of Cups could be about someone from the past returning also who walked away at one point. But I think you may reject this offer. Justice. Huh. So this could, you know, it could be a divorce for some. Someone that you broke up with before. Or somebody coming in to try to balance the scales back out to give you the justice you feel you need in this. All right. What else here for... But yeah, defensive energy here. So I feel like they, they're going to try to come back to try to make this right, right their wrongs. But you're going to be very defensive, I feel, with them coming back. Very defensive, on guard kind of energy. Like, yeah, I don't know about this kind of energy. You walked away before. You walk away again. You broke my heart before. Got in your heart here. <laughs> All right, what else? Let's get one more for Aries. Two of Pentacles. You may think about it. You may think about it, but do you really want to tread down those rocky waters again? So that's making needing to make a decision, you know, balancing it out. You may, you know, weigh the pros and cons. You definitely have been connected to this person before. But... I don't know, let's get another one. What will we do here? What are we going to decide about this? I feel like some of you are going to block this person and walk away. What else? Eight of Wands. So this is that communication coming in. So they're definitely going to be communicating, coming in quick, fast, passionately. But you're going to be a little defensive on guard. Lovers, yeah, they definitely feel an attachment to you or you to them. They could have been just an in and out lover before. And uh, you may give it a go, see where it goes. But being at a crossroads here with the two of wands, like not sure what to do with this, needing to make a decision. But you feel like this person still has secrets that they're not totally honest with you. Um, this could be about, um, you know, deep feelings and emotions not seeing things clearly. So there's something you feel like they're still hiding or secretive about. So what else? Let's get one more. 
Three of Wands. So waiting, waiting. You may keep this person waiting. So now you got the Two and Three of Wands. Four of Cups. So this is about thinking about the offer. So I think you may think about it. Some of you may decide to, you know, try give it a go. Try it out. The Fool energy here. <sighs> But, you know, I still think you think they may have secrets. So I think you're going to be defensive on guard. You're really going to need to listen to your gut, your intuition about this, if you can trust them this time. Um, but some of you may give it another go. But I think you're going to be on guard and you're going to be watching their every move. And one, you know, wrong move in there, back out the door. So that's kind of what I get with that. But I do see, see unity there in the past. So this definitely was somebody from your past coming back in to try to offer something. So there may be an energy here of you know, rebuilding and working it out here with the Three of Pentacles energy. There could have been a third party energy in the past. But they're definitely coming back in with their cup of love. You know, wanting to take action now, move this forward in love. Oh, they're coming out as the emperor now. So now they're coming out as a divine counterpart. So this person could have changed. World cycles and completions. They could have changed. Transformed with the death energy. Their old ways. You know they did a lot of thinking. Contemplating here. Wanting to <laughs> come back together. Reunite. And move this forward with you it's kind of what I'm getting wow okay so that's enough of that so yeah I do see past person returning and there's a chance here to work it out I feel like they've transformed they've changed they're coming now as a divine partner not just an in and out player as a knight they've gone from the knight to the emperor they've skipped right over the king and they're now an emperor so wow okay so what is this prince of summer and the world an emotional time or um you know, moving forward dramatically into a new world. Knight of Wands. So fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. The Five of Swords. So <sighs> that can be my, you know, getting ahead at all costs. Laying down, giving up, or fighting on. Four of Swords. So rest rejuvenation, recuperation. So there might have been something here. <sighs> Let's get a few more. But I feel like there's something here that you were trying to fight for, trying to move forward passionately. And then you just got an energy of like, okay, I don't think this is working anymore. So retreating, thinking, contemplating. And that could be the world closing out something here. But moving forward somewhere else, I feel. Knight of Wands, yeah. Struggle. Something was a struggle. What else here? But you have fate, destiny, divine timing, things getting better, going in the right direction. So whatever chapter, page of cups, so a new offer, apologies, communication, um, kind of offer. So I feel like, because we do have 10 with the Wheel of Fortune, which can be 10 about completions. The world is 21, and that's 3, so it's about you know working on something new. So I feel like you were trying to move forward somewhere. It just wasn't working. So it was an energy here of retreating, giving up. It's a losing battle. Then thinking, healing, contemplating, resting, recuperating, rejuvenating. You know, you really struggled. You fought hard for this. But I feel like, I feel like now you have either some other new offer coming in or something that is divinely guided because you have the page in the night. So moving forward in a new direction. Could have been emotional, whatever ended here. Could have been anything. Uh, but I feel like here, moving forward in a new direction, a whole new world. Finally realizing something wasn't worth the fight, something wasn't worth fighting for or you know, struggling for. It's just not worth it anymore. All right, so what do we have with Uriel and Wisdom? Seven of Pentacles. So assessing, analyzing, reviewing, patiently waiting. The hangman, reflecting, taking a break, taking a pause. 
Ace of Pentacles. So this is divinely guided, brand new beginning. Handed down. Stable, secure, grounded. Go long term. Nine of Pentacles. So being uh, stable, secure, independent. Taking care of yourself. You could be seeking out uh, help and guidance and wisdom from somebody who's very secure, stable, independent. Um... You know, somebody may be good with finances or something like that, very structured, that can help, you know, you do kind of like a review of life in general and can lead you in a new direction here for a better life, I feel. Ace of Swords, so there's divine clarity, divine intervention and clarity and truth and honesty, cutting away things no longer serving you, telling it like it is, epiphany, aha moment. Slaughter victory. Now we have the king of pentacles, king or queen, doesn't matter. But being very secure, stable, grounded. So we got the nine and the king. So I feel like being very uh, independent, very independent, secure. Somebody that can give you advice, guidance to make you more stable, independent, and grounded. And... Uh, Having the Sword of Victory. Two sword Aces here. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So getting divine clarity and then receiving this God, um, God giving gift from the universe for wealth, abundance for the future. And, you know, you may have to seek out help, guidance, um, somebody, you know, wise in their field or something like that. But I do see peace, harmony coming in. And a better way of living, better life, being more stable. Wow, Aries. Okay, Aries. Well, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to so always, always shine your light.